We start today with our health lead. The alarm bells are sounding and the only way to turn them off is for more people to get vaccinated. It is simple as that. The average of new daily coronavirus cases in the United States is up 65% just from this time last week. So to put that into context, the surge we're dealing with right now, which is driven by the unvaccinated, is worse than the horrible original spike from last spring. But despite all of these warnings from top health officials, doctors, politicians, local leaders, and well, basically everybody, the daily pace of vaccinations, it keeps falling, as CNN's Athena Jones reports. As the biggest public health crisis in a century threatens to get a lot worse, the warnings to the unvaccinated are getting stronger. In Alabama, the state with the lowest vaccination rate in the country, 34%. The new cases in COVID are because of unvaccinated folks. But it's time for to start blaming the unvaccinated folks, not the regular folks. It's the unvaccinated folks that are letting us down. Republican Governor Kay Ivey is fed up. These folks are choosing a horrible lifestyle of self-inflicted pain. What is it going to take to get people to get shots in ours? I don't know. You kill me. Folks supposed to have common sense. As the more contagious Delta variant supercharges COVID-19's spread, especially in places with low vaccination rates, the country is now averaging more new coronavirus infections a day than during the first surge in spring 2020. Cases up 65% over just last week and almost four times higher than a month ago. COVID hospitalizations rising nearly 30% nationwide in just the past seven days, almost all among the unvaccinated. And with the daily pace of vaccinations at the lowest point since January, doctors and government officials are begging the unvaccinated to protect themselves. It just seems like we're just fighting a losing battle here. As experts warn, the more the virus circulates among the unvaccinated, the greater the chance of so-called breakthrough infections among those who are fully vaccinated. Still, doctors stress. There are some breakthrough infections. I'm seeing them in my practice, but it's mild illness then. And so that's a huge difference. And that's what vaccines do. And with millions of children set to head back to school, a CNN analysis finds less than a third of eligible kids are on track to be fully vaccinated against COVID in the next two weeks. And while public schools in Atlanta, Washington, D.C., and Chicago are mandating masks for everyone. We parents should have the right to choose whether or not our kids are suffocated by these masks all day. Debates over masking in schools becoming heated from Virginia to Illinois. You are simply making decisions based on your own fears. The experts have spoken. I would like the school board to continue universal masking. Experts argue. We have to be honest that we're asking people who are fully vaccinated basically to, to sacrifice uh, because it's so hard to enforce vaccination, a uh, mask wearing based on vaccination status. Now, along with Alabama, Mississippi is the only other state to have fully vaccinated less than 35 percent of its population. And Alabama has also seen an additional roughly 500 people hospitalized with COVID over the past week, up 60 percent from last week. That's according to the latest community profile report published by the White House COVID-19 response team. Pamela. Theta Jones, thank you so much. Joining us now is Dr. William Schaffner. He is a professor at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. So, Dr. Schaffner, you just heard Alabama's governor. Should we blame unvaccinated people for the rise in hospitalizations and breakthrough cases right now? Well, I don't know about blaming, but it's certainly a fact. The hospitalizations out there right now, that are the people who are coming in are unvaccinated, 98% of them. The vaccines are keeping vaccinated people out of the hospital. And yes, this Delta variant is spreading principally among vaccinated people. You know, some of the people in my own intensive Wait, care Wait, I just, hold unit, on. I just want to make sure you said they're spreading principally among vaccinated people? Or did you mean no, unvaccinated? unvaccinated? Okay, people. I thought, I just want to make sure I heard that correctly. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, there are people in our intensive care unit who give wonderful care to absolutely every patient, including drug users, the people who crash cars, all kinds of things. But they're getting a little grumpy at people who are coming in with COVID because they were unvaccinated, taking up all these resources and exposing all the healthcare workers to COVID. They don't really understand that. So just to, to sort of button this up, and when I say unvaccinated in that first question, I mean the people who 
are willingly unvaccinated. Obviously not the people who have medical issues or, or kids who aren't eligible, but how much of the people who are willingly unvaccinated impact the vaccinated right now? Well, the people who are willingly unvaccinated, that's the pool in which this virus, the Delta variant is spreading so rapidly. There's spillover into vaccinated people. Fortunately, they tend to get mild disease, but nonetheless, their spillover into vaccinated people. We could all bring this to a close if everyone who were unvaccinated would just come in, get vaccinated tomorrow. Within two weeks to a month, COVID would go way, way down. Bottom line, and it's not only the breakthrough cases, it's also you could give it to, for say, if I got, I'm vaccinated, if I had a breakthrough case, I could give it to my unvaccinated children. So that's also the concern is, is giving it to others if you're vaccinated. At this point of the pandemic, if more people don't get vaccinated, do you want to see more mask mandates? I think they will begin to crop up here and there on a local level, depending upon the extent of local transmission and the acceptability of those mandates by the population, which will vary across the country, I'm afraid. I will, and, and I think the reality is those places of the country with low vaccination rates are probably the least likely to impose mask mandates. But let's talk about, as we look ahead, this is where we are, where are we heading? COVID cases and other respiratory illnesses like the flu typically get worse in the winter when everyone is indoors. If we're seeing a rise in cases now when it's summer, what does that mean for what's to come in a few months? Well, we're very concerned because flu will be back along with other winter respiratory viruses. We'll have a lot of respiratory illness. There will be continuing COVID spread. We'll be doing a lot of testing, trying to sort out who's got the flu and who's got COVID. And speaking of the flu, when September, October comes around, please get vaccinated against flu also. The flu numbers, if I recall, were down this past uh, winter. Do you expect that to happen again or no? I don't expect that to happen again. The flu numbers were very low because we all stayed at home. We social distanced, we wore masks, and particularly the children didn't go to school. They spread the virus amongst themselves, the flu virus, and then bring it home to their elders. Now that schools are opening up, our masks are off, we're back in business. We're going to have flu once again. So you're going to have that double whammy flu and this virus, assuming that more people aren't going to get vaccinated in time. We won't reach herd immunity by that point. You have kids that are between 12 and 17 who are eligible to get vaccinated, but a new CNN analysis finds that less than a third of them are on track to be fully vaccinated in the next two weeks when school starts. That is millions of teens. What's your message to them and their parents? My message is simple, 12 and older, please get vaccinated. Make your contribution to your own safety, your family safety, and your school's safety. Please get vaccinated. I want to talk about another hot topic today. That is the NFL. In an effort to get more players vaccinated, the NFL said teams that experience an outbreak among unvaccinated players might have to forfeit a game, even forego their pay. Dr. Fauci says he thinks this is a good idea, what do you tell those who are vaccinated who feel like they're being punished for someone else's decision? I think it's time they spoke to their teammates. Why are those unvaccinated teammates not playing for the good of the team? Get vaccinated, pitch in, protect the entire team. Makes sense to me.